No. You're not going to treat anybody like you're not going to do that to each other. Amen? It's the same thing I tell you. You wouldn't put up that in your own home, and we won't put up with that here. We cannot be that way. Out of love for Christ and the brethren. Listen, the world hates us. Get this through your head. (laughs) You're looking at it. Look around you. This is what you have. And as the times get darker, you've got to understand something, friend. This is all you're going to have. Don't bite and devour each other. Don't do that. You cause grievous wounds when you do that. And sometimes never heal. I feel like this is a problem that needs to be addressed. I, I think there's some people that you don't have the joy of the Lord, and there's something wrong. You need to get it. Amen. Because, because you know what? No matter what you're going through physically, no matter what you are, man, you ain't being burned at the stake yet. And last time I checked, man, we got warm houses to live in. We got food. We got spouses. We got loved ones. We've got children. Right? We're blessed of God. And we ought to have the joy of the Lord. People shouldn't see us walking around in a stupor, in a bad mood, or have a a, a sad countenance. Why should we? What do we have to be sad about? We have eternity. What in the world do you have to be sad about? What do you have to be sad about? What gives you the right to walk around like that as a child of God who's been given all things? We don't, we don't have a right to do that, do we? Do we have a right to live our lives like that? What a good testimony. Man, I want that salvation you got. Makes you look poopy all the time. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Sorry, Aaron. I started thinking about those pictures. <laughs> anyway, but... Um, We don't have any reason to be down like that. We don't have any reason to live our lives down like that. What excuse do we have? To have a murmuring and complaining spirit. To have a spirit like that. To have a sad countenance like that all the time. Man, I'll tell you what. You want to get in the backslide and you just start looking at yourself and and saying, Woe is me. My life is so bad. It's so hard. Because of money. Because of finances. Because of family. Because of because of health, because of anything else, well, you're on your way to backsliding. Probably already there. You're probably cold a little bit. Amen. You better thank God. You better look around you and thank God for what you have. If that don't put a smile on your face, you're in some trouble. Because I look around, I'm thinking, we are a blessed people. And we have no reason to be down. We have no excuse to be down. We have no excuse to live like that. We have no excuse to... Don't live like you're away from God. And you better live like you're communing with God. If not, maybe you're not communing with God. Maybe that's the problem. Because you get alone with God, I'll tell you what. You'll be positive. Amen. This world has seen enough of Christianity that goes nowhere. When I see God's people joyous, when I see them in, you know, when the world looks at that, they ought to be able to see people that are, that are, that are people full of joy and hope. Amen? Not people that are negative, thinking about Obama, the Antichrist, is going to destroy us all. So what? We go to heaven. Big deal. It's a promotion. Big deal. They fly over the plane and bomb us all tonight. Just, oh, we're going to heaven. I hope you are anyway. If you're not, you better get it right now. Right? But, I mean, they take away everything we have. They can't take your soul. They can't take... Jesus Christ has that. Now live in this flesh and make the best best life for the Lord that you can. You know what your best life is now? You want to tell you what that is? I'll tell you what your best life is now. Submission to the will of God obedience to Christ, living for Him every day and serving Him.
and honoring him with your life. And it doesn't honor God when you always constantly look like you have a sad countenance your life is over. That's not honoring to God. Well, thanks for your salvation, God. Now I look like I want to die. Amen. Come on. But I have some struggles. Hey, so do I. So does Garrett. A lot of them. But he still manages to smile once in a while. That's why I pray for his wife every night. <laughs> oh, anyway, but you just, uh, there's no reason to, for us to be sad. Amen. We've got a lot. The Lord's blessed us greatly. He's given us uh, all things that we need from the Spirit of God to be able to live that life of holiness and separation to Him. And we should act like His children. We should walk as his children and talk as his children. Amen? And we should live like it as children of the king, not as the prodigal son off into the world and off away from what God wants us to do. Father, Lord, thank you. Thank you for your goodness to us. Lord, thank you that, Lord, um, you're so nurturing and forgiving to us, Lord. Thank you for each and every person here. Lord, thank you for their testimony of wanting to live for you and to serve you. And Lord, I just pray that you'd help us to have hearts that are fixed on you, Lord, and that we don't get off into the world. Because if we get off into the world, Lord, if we let worldliness in in our lives or in our hearts, it'll consume us, it'll take us, and we'll end up in the pig pen, Lord. Father, I pray that you protect our children, Lord. Help us to teach them wisely and protect our children for from this world lord and help us to teach them and warn them and guide them and direct them lord but i pray holy spirit of god that you'd work on their hearts as only you can do lord we we can only teach and we can only pray and we can only exhort and fast but lord at the end it's a work of the holy ghost of god we pray.